Hit him right there in the tree. <laughs> Dude. Like you looked like you hit him and it didn't hit it like it was really light when it hit him. <laughs> it bounced off. This guy only had half a strap. <laughs> Yeah, he's oh, got almost. some problems. He's not so far out of here. Oh, did you see how close that was? <laughs> I know. That was the right worst shot. Oh, right there. You got him? Oh, Jacob, Jacob. Well, let him, scare him around and let him take the shot because he's farther away. Snap his neck. Nah, Check he, out where I got him in the stuff. cheek. Destroyed his head. Oh. Add him to the meat pile. Go anywhere. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Dude, if you got that shot in the air. Zoom in on that How big many? boy. Oh Ten. my gosh. There we go. We need messed up. Look, yeah. look at the size of that eye guard, and then that other side just has. Did you get him? Yeah. I him. He's away up that tree. This, this thing. Stop using it. Oh! He's getting away. Look, 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 look. He can't get up the tree. Shit, let me get a rock. We have nothing? No more rock. I'll go chase him down. Have fun. Alright, we just finished slingshot hunting. We got two squirrels. Two squirrels right here. Rather large guy. This is a little guy. He's just wet. Destroyed him. We'll skin him for you guys and then throw him on the grill. Alright, so we got this squirrel here. Try to skin him a new method. Try to make him a little loose. Cut up through the tail. Don't cut too far. I'm gonna cut down the sides a little bit. Just so when you pull it, it has something to grip onto, it doesn't just rip out. There you go. Throw that there. Step on the tail. Go. 
beautiful. I'm just gonna cut off the head. All right, see this last squirrel we got? Come check it out. The bullet came in here, flew through his jaw, and it popped out down here when I was skinning him. Just went straight through the head. Devastating. All right, guys, so I got these squirrels. I'm just gonna throw some barbecue sauce on them, throw them on the grill, cook them for a little while. Smear that all around, just all over the legs. Here we go. There's his head. There's a smaller one. Left his paw on for on accident. Close this up. Give it a few minutes, and then we're gonna then we're gonna flip them. Flip them. Boy, perfect. Looking amazing. A little burnt, but that's all right. Make sure it's all the way cooked anyway. I'm going to add a little bit more, actually. All right, it's looking looking quite ready. A little, little burnt. I should be good in about another few minutes. All right, here we go. They're done. I'm going to take them out and then try to explain the flavor to you guys. Alrighty, let's eat some of this. Whew. Looking juicy in there. Perfect. It's going to be really hard to film. Okay. There we go. Let's get some of the big guy's back legs. I'm just cutting his leg off right now. So it's easier to eat. Here it is. Thing is steaming. Mm. Yeah, a little bit like barbecue chicken, a little bit like ribs. All the way cut through. Perfect. Leg number two. Open them up. Bite them. Mm -hmm. Trying to eat politely in front of the camera. It's not really working. Alright, another very tasty spot. Back ribs right along here. They are the best. Just gonna try to get to them real quick. Usually I just rip the rib cage off, eat that later, or first, whatever. Then when you rip this off, you can get to them really easily. So you see that? All this meat along this bone right here. That is golden. There's no, no tendons or anything in it. it goes out really easy. It tastes the best too. The other side. Rip it down. Let it go at. Mm. These are big mouthfuls. All right, then the rib cage. It's really chewy and usually doesn't taste that good, but it definitely has a lot of energy in it. So you still got to eat that too. This soaked in all the flavorings quite nicely though, so. It's actually pretty good compared to just cooking it with like olive oil. Front legs, pretty good. Everything's good on them. And then also their back, up here, it's really good. Where their, their paws up here, there's always a lot of meat right there too. So just open that up. All right guys, that is all for today. I am full. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. We definitely enjoyed making this video. I don't know, I think, I think you guys should go, I challenge you to go kill a squirrel or hunt it down, trap it, something. We're making a new video, we're going to set out a trapping method, 
uh, with a noose. It's cheap. You just need a tree and a rope. So try to get a squirrel, cook it up, send me a picture, DM me on the Urban Hunter Instagram or something. I just want to see that my videos are actually like motivating people to go out there and hunt and live off the land, which is what we're made to do. So, all right, thank you guys for watching. See you later.